Hey, what's up everybody? In this video I'm going to show you guys how you can program your Marksman brand car alarm remote controls. This here is an H50TR17, is the FCC on this. Um, they got a lot of uh, different FCCs. You always start with that H50 though. Okay, um, that's one of the two ways. This here chewed up looking old five button there. H50T21, the most popular one I think. And here's another T21 three button. Okay, now when you're doing these transmitters, although there are more than one button on all of these, as you can see, don't be scared that you have to know about programming all these independent channels. This is not the way these alarms work. You just uh, get into programming. You hold down the one button, which is the lock, um, on each of the transmitters that you have in your possession, and that's all there is to it. When you actually have to get these things programmed. The way you have to do it, all you need is your remote, however many you have. You have just one, two, it'll only learn up to four receivers, just so you know. So you have more than four, pick the four nicest looking ones and get rid of the fifth because it ain't going to learn. Okay, so all you got to do is jump into your vehicle, take your key, turn it on to the ignition position, find your valley switch, which is going to be like this. It's just a standard uh, valley switch. On mine, you can see it has the red and black with their lettering on it. The red says on and the black says off. So let's just hope to God that yours has the same thing. If not, you can also I could tell you a trick on how to figure out which is which. Because in order to start the programming procedure for a marksman, you have to make sure that it's in the off position. So mine is in the correct position as it is. Okay? So what you're gonna do is get into your car. Turn your key on, you're going to flick this on, off, on, off, on, off. That's six flicks. Then you're going to hear a chirp from the siren. Grab your remote, hold down the lock button. It'll chirp back to confirm it learned. Grab your second. Do the same thing, hold down lock. If you have three, like I do, hold down three. You get the chirp, you can hear it confirm it learned. Turn your key off, test your transmitters, and everything should be working just fine. Now. Getting back to what I said earlier, if your switch is in the on position before you start it, it ain't gonna work. Okay, because the reason why is because your alarm is in valet mode. You have to take it out of valet mode. If you're not sure if your alarm is in or out of valet mode, I'll tell you how. On your dash, if you had an alarm installed, they always put a dash LED, which is red in color typically, uh, located up in, your up in your dash. If that light is on steady, that means that your alarm is in the off or valet mode what you need to do to, to fix that problem get in there turn your key to the on position leave it on flick the valley switch so again it's in that off position then you can start the programming flick it on off on off on off wait for the chirp grab your remotes lock 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 however many you have turn the key off exit programming and that's all you need to know about how to program your marksman brand car alarm transmitters